Uh, my name is Rene Bergeron, and I am a collector of Titanic memorabilia, and I have the largest collection here in Canada. So I started collecting when I was a young boy, and uh, the collection has now grown to uh, the largest collection in Canada and the top ten in the world. After the Titanic, they had to put way more lifeboats on boats, right? So these davits here could go back onto the ship and get another boat to bring it down and let more of the passengers bring it back. The collection ranges anywhere from paper items to actual parts of the ship, cutlery, uh, uh, passenger lists, and all kinds of things like that. So what you're looking at here is a model of what the Titanic looks like at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, the bow is pretty much intact. The stern is almost not recognizable. They're actually sitting um, half a mile apart and the stern actually fell, falling on the opposite way with half a mile between them. And the uh, reason for that is that the bow was pressure compensating, filled with water. As it went down, it cut through the water like an arrow and it landed on the bottom, but the stern was open at this end. So the water started rushing through and peeling back some of the steel and it would make like a kind of a kite effect and it, it swirled on its way down. And that's why there's half a mile in between. find stuff online, uh, I do auctions, flea markets, believe it or not, uh, antique stores, and I, I, I get a lot of donations. I've got lucky through the years. The piece here is an actual piece of the Grand Staircase from the Titanic, and how it came about through the years was that when the cable ships went to pick up the bodies, they would also pick up pieces of souvenir wreck wood, and uh, the carpenter on the minia picked up this wood and fashioned this frame out of it and then put the picture of his niece and through the years the family decided that they didn't want the frame so they sold off the frame to four collectors they each split up the sides and uh, that's how I came across this piece here it's actually my friend that gave it to me as a uh, as a gift this uh, cup and saucer that you're looking at here it actually comes from the Titanic and how this one here came about was the Titanic when it uh, left Southampton stopped in Chorburg, France and in Queenstown, Ireland and some passengers got on in Southampton and got off in Ireland. I say that the piece of wood from the Grand Staircase and the cup and saucer from Titanic are my favorite pieces.